small site with um, only 145 mainstream kids, um, for us to be involved in a project like the Stephanie Alexander Kitchen Garden Project, it meant that somebody in leadership had to pick that up. And so um, as the principal, it gave me an opportunity to actually work with classes. Sure, we um, initially started working with our principal and we decided to look at the digital technologies part of the Australian curriculum. And it was really interesting because we started with using our kitchen, which we call the galley. And we thought that we could use this process for students to use the algorithms to look at the baking process. So that was where we first started. And it was really interesting because the students were used to doing cooking for that end result but this forced them to look step by step. And when they were looking deeply at the recipe, they had to break it into sections and they had to look at the individual components of a baking or a cake recipe in particular. And they had to see whether they could change or substitute particular elements to alter the final product of the recipe. You don't have to have the same ingredients off from the internet. You can have different what you like. We wanted kids to see um, the branching and how um, different options in cooking. So, so normally we, we would be doing four different recipes. When you first start reading a recipe with the students, what they initially point out or what they initially discover when we break it into parts is there's actually a lot of missing steps things that aren't directly stated, it's inferred and it's implied there. So things are missing in the recipe, like putting the cake into the oven, mixing it all together using a spoon. It's just assumed information. It tells you you need um, one well beaten egg, but it doesn't tell you to crack the eggshells and put them somewhere. 